How immune system works. When you are sick, your immune system works really hard. You often heard about immune system and immunity. Let's see what do we mean by it. They are the most amazing army ever and they keep fighting the toughest battle all the time. Let's learn all about this amazing defense system, which our body has against bacteria and viruses. Let me first show you the world around you with the microscope. You see our world is filled with lots of germs. Yet we remain healthy. Thanks to our immune system. The immune system is an army of an organs, tissues and cells that work together to keep you safe from these germs. These germs could be viruses, bacteria, fungi, other microorganisms like paramecium or amoeba. These parasites try to enter your body all the time. Your immune system uses a many tricks and weapons to keep them away and kill them. Your body has three levels of defense. The first are your skin and mucous membranes. Second is swelling or fever. And the third is the internal immune system. At the first level, your skin is the first barrier for these germs. It's not easy to get inside your body covered with a waterproof, germ-proof, self-healing skin. But, if the germs somehow enters your body, then the second level of defense comes for help. That is fever. Fever can support the immune system's attempt to gain advantage over infectious agents such as viruses and bacteria. And it makes the body less favorable as a host for replicating viruses and bacteria which are temperature sensitive. Even if the first and second level defense fails and the germs are able to get inside your body, then the third level of defense for your immune system starts working. When a virus invades your body, it tries to take your healthy cells and make more copies of itself. This makes you feel sick. Let's learn about the third level immune system. Your third level immune system follows a three-point attack plan. It identifies the invaders, kills them, and then remembers them for future battles. So here is how it happens in the body. The first step is to identify them. Special cells called macrophages do this work. They surround the enemy and raise a flag to call the deadly attacking battalions. This flag indicates an antigen. This means, there's an enemy cell, which needs to be destroyed. Let's introduce you to the other cells, involved in defense. To kill the germs the immune system has a battalion of T cells, B cells, and killer K cells which work together to kill the cells. You want to know more about these. Then there are M cells, who remember the enemy viruses, so that, if they come next time they are killed immediately. Let's get to know more about these. T cells are helper cells. They recognize the antigen flag on the macrophage. They call out to their friends the B cells. The B cells produce Y-shaped antibodies. These antibodies attach to the antigen and tag them for destruction. Now it's easy for the K cell to destroy all the germs because they have been tagged by the T and B cells. Then comes the K cells. They will destroy all the germs. Special memory cells called M cells carry the memory of an attack, even after the victory. This makes our immune system better prepared for the next attack. Your immune system works hard to keep you healthy. Would you like to know how you can help it? Wash your hands frequently. Most germs enter your body through your hands. Get your vaccine injections on time. The vaccines help strengthen your immune systems against many dangerous diseases. Eat healthy, sleep nicely, and exercise regularly to have a strong immune system. You know all about the immune system and how it works.